as you can see, the Foothillers are pouring in behind me. This is week two. We're at Grosmont High School facing up against El Camino. Let's jump into the game. Starting off the first half, Trenton Giles gets taken down by El Camino. But that didn't stop the Grossmont Foothillers from making the way up the field with a great run by Ryan Roddick, or Pudge. A great throw to Pudge with a takedown near the end zone. And then quarterback Giles decides, well, no pass, I'm gonna run it in, which he does, making the score seven to zero in the first quarter. But then El Camino scores back with their classic drive into the end zone, making the score eight to seven, El Camino Wildcats. Next up, number four for the El Camino Wildcats, Tate Reed intercepts the pass and then runs it into the end zone. The Wildcats were putting up a fight against the Grossmont Foothillers, but can they keep their hold on the game long enough to win the night? Another great pass from the Grossmont quarterback to number one, Giovanni Burns, who runs it in for a touchdown, making the score 15 to 14 El Camino. And just when I thought it wasn't going to get better, number 34, Ryan Odom, intercepts the pass from El Camino, running it all the way up the field. And the crowd goes wild. And there he goes again, number 17 to number one. Burns with the play of the week type catch in the end zone, giving Grossmont the lead, 21 to 15. A big highlight of the night was the band. They were insane. Going into the second half, El Camino throws it downfield and Burns with the interception. I'll tell you what, Foothiller Giovanni Burns was on fire tonight. Well, both teams put up a good fight. It was neck and neck for the longest. But at the end of the game, Grossmont High School pulls out the dub with a 35 to 22 win against the El Camino Wildcats. Hey guys, well, that was an awesome game, if you ask me. Now, one of us is sitting at two and oh, and the other one is sitting at one and one. We'll see what happens next week in week three. Until then, I'm Sierra Simonick, back to you in the studio.